Dear students, welcome to the video lecture of strings. Passing a string as string manipulation, C, is, C has the weakest characteristic capability than any other uh, any other general purpose programming language. Strictly speaking, there are no character string in C, just an array of single character that are really small integer, they will have an equivalent integer value. So we are having a set of, uh, of a function to manipulate the string. They are all stored in the header file, string.h. String manipulation functions are available in the header file, string.h. strcpy, s1, s2, which copies the s2 into s1. s2 is a source, s1 is a destination, but uh, entirely what happened, overwrite the Content in the S1. If and the S1 is empty, it's okay. If S1 is having some content, S2 will overwrite its content with the S1. Next, str cat S1 comma S2 concatenates S2 to S1. Concatenates uh, S2 to S1. This upwards upon the string contained by the S2 to the end of the string pointed by S1. Upon the string in the end of the S1. Already uh, the S1 will retain its content. The end of the string, the content of the S2 will get updated. The terminating null character uh, of, of SN is overwritten. Terminate, terminating null character of SN is overwritten by the content of S2. And copying stops uh, once all the S2 uh, are copied. Copying stops once terminating null character of S2 is copied. So it will have to copy all the string up to terminating null character of S2. Next, str n c a t s1 comma s2 comma n. n is an integer variable. Upon the string pointed by the S2 uh, to the end of the string pointed by S1 up to n characters long up to n characters we have to mention the how many character of s2 to be uh, concatenated with the uh, in the end of the s1 Co uh, copying stops uh, once n characters are copied or terminate null character of s2 is copied if the n n is having a uh, if two or three like a, a, a particular length okay that character will be copied the copying will be stopped otherwise what happens if n is equal to s2 or n is a, uh, greater than the number of characters than equal to uh, uh, than S2, then what will happen? Entire S2 will be copied. Okay, uh, once the null character of S2 is copied, the concatenation function will stop. Next, str len of S1 returns the length of the S1, so length of the string. It returns the number of characters in the string. It returns the number of characters in the string without terminating, without without considering the terminating null character. Returns the length of the S1. It returns the length of the S1. The number of characters of the string, it won't consider the terminate null character. str cmp, which compare the string s1 and s2, return 0. If an s1 and s2 are same, it will return 0. Return less than 0, that will be minus value when s1 less than s2. Return positive value if s1 greater than s2. So this is a string comparison function. str chr, yeah, s1 is a string, ch is a character, such as the occurrence, is whether the characters occur in the string S1, returns a pointer to the first occurrence of the CH in the S1. So first occurrence of this character, if the character occurs more than one time, it will return the pointer to the first occurrence of the character CH in the string S1. STR, STR, it such as the string occurrence of the string S2 in the S1. If occurs, returns a pointer to the first occurrence of the S2 in S1. So these are all the important string functions. We will discuss one by one. The first STR, LEN. This function count the number of characters in a given string. Format is str len, and within an open close parenthesis, you have to pass the string, string variable, or you have to pass the string. str cpy, this function copies the content of the source string to the destination string. So here s2 is a source string, s2 is a destination string. str cpy function copies the content of the s2 in s1. So we'll discuss some program example. We'll go for the code blocks. Okay, here I'm including a two header files, sdio.h, string.h for string manipulation. Declaring two character is source, which contains 30 characters, characters destination, which contains 30 character. I ask the user to enter the source string. Okay, I'm, uh, it's a performance kind of statement. I'm just uh, get the value and store it in the source string. strcpy, actually a custom copy function, which, which in the function copies the source string into the destination string. So what I'm doing, after uh, I'm printing it after string copy uh, string copy destination after the string copy destination string is slash in I give a uh, colon here 
and actually the first stage is destination string so after that uh, slash and length of the destination string is percentage d string length string length is given here so what i am doing the slash t for a tab space so we'll check the output so here the source string is so we just a kind of source string here for example to copy the to get the input for something there's no need to give ampersand symbol for the character array is not essential okay for a specific character array there's no need to give ampersand symbol to uh, for the to store the string so we'll run and see the example so we will get the uh, we will get the source string store it in the character array source string copy function sources get copied in the destination after that i'm printing the destination and as well as so far the destination don't contain any value after that i'm printing the length of the destination using strlin function so source string i'm giving it as an india as my source string so after uh, string copy destination string is okay india called in india is it will come we print the value i gave it a tab space is given given by me after string copy destination string is okay i will give a colon also so india is my destination string get printed length of the destination string is 5 okay then india is contain five characters it won't count the null character then we will discuss about the second program include stdio.h include string.h I have a part header file for the string manipulation function and continue dot console input output dot head also included here. Why it may declare in two array character source 30 character destination 30 character integer n is a an integer variable. I ask the user enter the source string. Okay, the source string is entered. I ask you to enter the destination string. I have a destination uh, ask you to enter the destination string also. Destination string enter the number of characters to be replaced. So number of characters replaced from where? From source string to destination string. So string n cpy function is used. So it contains destination source n. So n character of the sourcing get copied in the destination string. We will run the program and we will check the result. So I have a source string. Source string is kct. Destination string. ind so number of characters to be replaced to what will happen the first two characters will be uh, two characters will be replaced in the destination string so the output kcd so source string the character k and c get copied k and c get copied in the destination string so it will retain the value d itself okay only two characters are copied so kcd is my output so that's it for this class thanks for watching this video lecture thank you